Buzzing the mouthpiece is one of the best ways to improve brass playing. It doesn't matter if you play trumpet, French horn, trombone, baritone, euphonium, or tuba. Every brass musician can benefit from buzzing their mouthpiece. The more you buzz, the better you sound and the easier it will be to play. Physically, a buzz is created by making vibrations with your lips and blowing air through them like this. I'll try it on the mouthpiece. All you really need to do to get a good buzz on the mouthpiece is to hear the sounds in your mind and use lots of air. I don't need to worry about the physical part of the buzzing, only in making it sound good. If I think about how to buzz, then that's when things may not sound as good. If you can sound great just on your mouthpiece, then you'll sound great on your instrument. As a brass player, it's crucial that we try to hear the music in our minds as we play. If we're able to hear the notes strongly in our mind, then it's much easier to play the correct notes on the instrument. When we hear the notes in our minds, we're creating a stronger signal in our brain. When buzzing, this signal goes down the seventh cranial nerve to the lips, which creates a better buzz on the mouthpiece. It's easy to buzz a simple tune on the mouthpiece. If you succeed in making it sound the best that you can, then you're going to sound even better on the instrument. Just remember to hear the notes and use lots of air. No need to worry about Just buzz. Try this. Take a simple tune like Mary Had a Little Lamb and buzz it a couple times on your mouthpiece. See how great you can make it sound while buzzing. Pretend you forgot your instrument and all you have is your mouthpiece. Through buzzing your mouthpiece, you'll reach your musical goals faster and more efficiently than having not buzzed the mouthpiece at all.